Hello everyone, Big TG, Proxy Table Gaming, I'm Lucky Sixes. I'm not Lucky Sixes. No, you're not. He's Lucky what? Sixes. We've changed. <laughs> I've changed Robo. No. I'm Hyper G. Fuck me He's Hyper G today, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good, you're settling <laughs> in nicely. Yeah. Um, let's see if I can roll a six. Where's the dice? I'll get a yeah. dice. Let's see, Do if it. It, see if it works. Let's see if it's not on camera. I've got a dice right here. Right, it's not on camera. It's a one. That's, yeah. We were well, clearly, I'm that. not. Clearly, well, you only I'm not, had that. I'm not the real limited yeah. number amount of time. Uh, yeah. So we should get back on. Not the real it. Slim Shady. <laughs> no, clearly. Okay. Don't stand up. We <laughs> no. carry on in the old world. Old right? world. Old world. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I don't even know what happened in this battle. The, yes, because I wasn't just, there. Yeah. <laughs> this is why you were wanting to be me, because then you'd be involved. Because today we're here for a. High Elf versus Skaven. Yeah. Not a real army, folks. <laughs> Hashtag. Maybe. Maybe not. Can't believe a it. A legacy army is what they're officially called, isn't it? Yes. Um, and quite apt, though, because I played Stat Rat, our third mm. ever present uh, in... in <laughs> <laughs> um, and he wanted to play the Skaven because uh, he played Empire three times and wanted to give something else a go. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, in terms of like the armies we traditionally play traditionally of course you've done fairly well out of the uh the legacy non-legacy armies haven't you because um mm. obviously your high elves wood elves bretonia warriors of chaos and beastmen are the traditional armies you've got play. them all yeah and they're all in there um stat rap not so lucky he's only got empire hasn't he um myself exactly. but between us goblins, we have them all dwarves. and we have uh, all of these mm. other armies as well so in time i'm sure we'll get through to them um, yeah. And they are being played in tournaments, so there's no um, yeah. real reason to drop them completely to start off with. So no. you will start seeing some of these ones as well. And today we start with the Skaven. Um, but of course, oh, yeah. I'm taking High Elves uh, to this. Um, and it is a modified list of what I did before. Uh, so, you know, in, Sun Dragon uh, still in there. Star Dragon. Uh, Star oh, Dragon, yeah, the big one uh -huh. uh, in there. Right. And he has uh, Dragon Helm to give him a two up armor, Cedar Rebirth to give him five up. A uh, regen and talisman protection to give him five up Aegis uh, ward. Sorry, so yeah, the the triple save thing, triple save, triple save dragon. Uh, level yeah, four archmage uh, on elementalism with silvery one to give him an extra um, spell and pure of heart to give him uh, his unit reroll panic. I think it is. Um, okay, I haven't I've taken off ruby ring. Um, because of Ooh. one of the latest discussions uh, online with with many people, there's a, there's a, there's two or three very tentative rules at the minute. One of which is can mis magic missiles be used by the same in multi in it, multiple magic missiles by the same mage? Uh, whether it counts as a shooting device. attack, whether or not you nominate a model to do it, etc., etc. And there's lots of really cool discussions. Um, so first off. Get that in Arguments here because is what you mean. Um, uh, discussions <laughs> in a minute. I, I, haven't, I haven't called anyone out yet, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so uh, that's an interesting so you one. The ruby ring because I've dropped it because oh, whether you know whether it's legal or not. This way, I know that's definitely legal. There might yeah. be a way to add it in and stuff, but we'll see. Uh, I have I've gone for a BSB list to get some more stuff in to try out some things. Mm -hmm. uh, Love and Sea Guard is my bunker. Uh, very, it's like very manoeuvrable and stuff. Uh, banner resolve uh, to give it stubborn. Silver helms with war banner are my just adding in a bit of core, bit of, not really yeah. a threat, but just a, maybe a good support piece. Dragon mm -hmm. princes uh, with razor center. I'm hoping are good. I'm just very dubious about impetuous as a rule. Okay, uh, across yeah. the game actually, uh, it's a bit of a. Yeah. Initially, it's a lottery, isn't it? Yeah, uh, my avoidance rule. I just, I just don't like it as a rule. But we'll see. I mean, the thing it... is, they can charge so far anyway that most of the time you're either so far that the impetuous. If you fail the impetuous, you're probably not going to make the charge and not lose too much anyway. Or you can move so far that if you do fail the impetuous when you didn't want to, you might make the charge anyway. I um, guess, yeah, um, I, yeah. If you make it, fair enough. Um, it just might be going into something that they definitely can't take, and if you fail, it yeah. might. You might be out of position, 
and give flank charges yeah, yeah. and things like that. So I, I just don't mm. like it because it puts things out of your control. But we'll see. Um, I've got a little chariot and two big chariots. Um, in mm. uh, as we all the all the good ones and the little crap one. Um, uh, Is this Catclaw, we'll one of them. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, but uh, we, we, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, and then Frost Heart Phoenix because I like the idea and I like the dropping of the agility as well. Sure. Yeah, it's pretty pretty big. On to the Skaven. Uh, he's got a, a Gracer level 4 on Demonology on the Screaming Bell as well, so that's cool. Nice. Um, he's got a Fellblade Warlord, Ooh. Uh, which is the Mock Wounds. I think it's I, I think it's changed, actually, since we've played. I think there's been an update okay. to Skaven, but um, it was the oh, original really? version where it was D3 Wounds, AP10. Uh, that might not be the case anymore, but we'll... Uh, as as we played it, that's what it was. Uh, Chieftain BSB, okay. Storm Banner, Skaven Brew, uh, and we've got Warlock Engineer with a Storm Demon uh, Magic Missile. Nice. Uh, 21 Clan Rats uh, with a Poison Wind Mortar as its side piece. Okay. Uh, a sto- 26 Storm Ermin with a Poison Wind Mortar as its side piece. Uh, two mm. Hell Pit Abominations, uh, Rambling Off Sweet. Gribblies. Uh, a tiny, tiny unit of three Poison Wind Glenvideers. Uh, and two <laughs> units of gutter runners uh, with poison attacks and throwing weapons. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I like it. A bit of a mix of everything and a good start uh, to see some of the scape and stuff as well. Yeah, um, we played the Drakwold Forest incident, which of course is your favourite because it is the oh, meeting well, engagement. Absolutely. Roll your ones, and uh, yeah. these are the things although that right came a foul a bit as well before. Yeah, and um, I think he got the, me, the, the so. raw end of the deal out of this. We both. Rolled pretty well, to be honest. Uh, but one of his yeah. hill pits and his fell blade, dude, oh, uh, got okay. fell afoul and woke up a bit mm. late for the battle. <laughs> um, both of my lion yeah. chariots um, uh, rolled a, a one, so they're out of action for now. Uh, but of course, all these will come in in reserve moves uh, on turn two. Yeah, and at least chariots can march in this game. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, although I do have a question about reserve moves coming on that we didn't. We oh, okay. sort of rush past, and I, I need clarification. Uh, this is deployment, uh, and from my point of view, I've got Silver Helms, uh, Frost Phoenix, Little Chariot. It's not a flying one. It's not the Sky Cutter. It's just what we use for it. Um, the Big Dragon, Northern Sea Guard, uh, and the Dragon Princes on the right. Uh, should cool. say again, a big thanks to Magnetic.com for the, the mm. uh, as you see, the infantry and the cavalry uh, bases and the trays. Uh, yeah, very, really very cool. useful for this sort of thing. Um, from his point of view, he's got a Hell Pit, uh, 21 Clan Rats, so two Poisoned Wind Mortars, uh, side pieces, uh, and then a huge unit with 26 Storm Vermin, the Bell, the Engineer, the BSB, uh, all over there, there. All in there. Um, on his right-hand side, he's got, behind that tree near his computer, he's got th- the three Poisoned Wind Globideers. <laughs> um, Do, does he remember them the entire battle? Perfect. Well, he can see them. It's just like that. Uh, and then behind my dragon princes, uh, he's got six gutter runners as well. Yeah, because the other uh, gutter runners didn't come on. Because the other ones didn't come on. Yeah, uh, he gets first turn and moves up like so, just uh, s- surrounding my dragon princes and moving up mm. pretty aggressively uh, on the on the other side or slash center. Uh, yeah. There, nice. uh, not myself. I think he got. There were a few spells, but they were largely ineffectual. Um, mm-hmm. He does get storm them in the magic mis- uh, storm demon. Sorry, magic missile off to kill a few of the sea guard and absolutely decimates these guys. <laughs> one wow. of them yeah. had decent AP, if not AP ten, uh, and one of them had AP naught. But it's still just it more than half the unit, and I'm like, oh god. Uh, and just yeah. to make matters worse, they panic, um, huh. run away from the closest enemy, and carry on going up there. Uh, so there you go. Um, it is wind mortars go, but one of them misfires and does a wound to himself. I think they've only got two as well, so that is actually quite scary uh, for okay. him. Yeah. And we uh, we go on to my turn, and they keep running um, <laughs> with a double six. Uh, I actually completely forgot Valor of Ages. Uh, but we'll save for oh. this because they've been so rubbish uh, to start. They haven't really had a ch- chance, really. Um, but uh, they, they although that the second again. one would have been a rally, wouldn't it? Um, yes, yeah, yes. But I just as a yeah, FYI, this would have failed the first one. 
elves yeah. out there, elf generals, remember Valor of Ages because uh, you do get as if they needed something else. Eh? Oh goodness me! Yeah. Um, <laughs> so onto my turn to declare charges. I go for it. Really, I initially charged the clan rats, the twenty-one clan rats, with my dragon because I know that's not an issue for him, and he knows no. that's not an issue, and flees, <laughs> rightfully so. So I redirect into the big unit. I'm like, all right, we're at it. Let's have it early. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I'm a little bit scared of the help it. Don't take this as a confidence thing. I'm, I need <laughs> all three of them in just to see if I have a chance. It is unbreakable as well, so it's, it's not going anywhere. So I do need no. to go through it. Thankfully, with Old World... Line hammer, whatever I can get them all in easily and all. Yeah, all attack. that does seem a bit odd, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah so um, there's that as well. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, uh, not much else to say in uh, my movement, uh, other than the Lothan Sea Guard turn around to avenge the Dragon Princes, who, as you can see, yeah. have carried on running behind the enemy lines. <laughs> well, maybe they they're want just. To. Uh... No, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're going for the long play. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It was all it was all a great part of my great plan, cunning plan. Yes. Yeah. Uh, over here, I go to shoot them. Oh no! I go to do wind blast on them, but they use their evasive move. So once they've been targeted by shooting, yeah. And I, I guess this comes into the it is in the shooting phase. So I don't think this is up for debate. Like the magic missile, is it a shooting attack? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because it is in the shooting phase, they fall back in good order and are now out of range. I I actually killed them, and then we realized that they've got the evasive rule. Did the fall back yeah. in good order out of range? Now I can't, I can't out of range of wind blast rather than of wind blast, the shooting, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Wind blast. You can still shoot at them, yeah. I can, but yeah, so that was cool. Yeah. Remember that, yeah. evasive people. Um, unfortunately, in my head, I go, "Would elves have this?" <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Although, okay. when when the organ gun shot the um, way watchers, we did work out that evasive wouldn't take them out of range, didn't we? So yeah, it so wasn't you need like to... evasive didn't help you in that yes, situation. Th this does if you're um, on but, the edge of yeah. things. Yeah, absolutely. Which is where um, you should be if you play the yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, over here, uh, I do five wounds. He regens one. Uh, but obviously is still okay. alive. Goes back, does a wound to uh, the Phoenix. I think it had like a automatic D3 wounds on something if it wanted to instead of its attacks. Oh. So it just kept doing that on my Phoenix. I was like, oh god! But luckily, it only does one. Um, a few stops yeah. kill some Silver Helms, but I win combat. It's unbreakable, so we, it just gives ground two inches, and we carry on for the next round. Of course, I don't have lances okay. this time um, with my uh, Silver Helm, so. We'll see how that yeah. gets on. Uh, but I have only got two more wounds to do. So yep. Phoenix is pretty good there. Um, I go in with him and uh, the Valorous Skaven champ. Um, <laughs> you know, whether or not he got pushed into the, the challenge, I'm not sure. Um, very oh, likely so. But he takes yeah. it like a champ. Uh, very much dies, dies for the overkill uh, as well. Um, and he does fall back in good order, I think. I don't think he oh. passes passes. Um, but we we go to there. It might it might be a gift ground actually. Um, but either way, he didn't quite go over onto the uh, mortar behind him. So right. we just right. stay there. So we didn't go very far at all. Yeah. Onto his turn and his remaining moves, I guess. Um, well. This was a question. First, the first one it was, what time does the reserves move happen? I think we got that right. It was before compulsory moves. The second yeah. one, can he just go the full distance? Is there any reason why we couldn't? I, and I don't see why he couldn't. I think when I played it with Tomb Kings, I don't think my dragons marched in the turn they came on. Yeah, so sure. So I, so I think that's a thing because I remember when yeah. my later on when my chariots come on they don't march. Yeah. So I remember you marching. Definitely miss think. charging. You definitely can't charge. Well, this this is another thing as well because as you can see, you? he rolled exactly <laughs> twelve. Oh right. It's a okay. random movement, so it's not oh, a declaring well, charge. Be. Yeah, well, that might be a thing. So yeah. I I think we played this right. 
but let us know yeah. if we I did it wrong. I think random movement would, would overall that. I think we we kind of choice, played it yeah. as that's cool, and the dragon princes deserve to die at this point because. Of... Oh, <laughs> so uh, they get in. Uh, it gets in like that, and this is the remaining uh, movement mm. for the Skaven. Um, as you can see, the Fellblade guy has joined the Gut Runners coming on, uh, so he's got a bit of cover. Yeah. Uh, just as an FYI, the Clan Rats rally. Uh, and otherwise, the gut, uh, runners uh, and the thing, the um, Globadiers go into the thing for some cover. Uh, Dragon Princes die. That was always going to happen. Of course. Uh, and yep, he chooses not to overrun because there isn't an overrun into the dragon, so he just sort of pivots. Yep. Uh, I think he does pass his thing as well. You do need to pass. Um, he gets some spells off as well to help the Storm of Vermin, hopefully. Yep. Uh, and over here... Help it. Oh. What a champ. Uh, I mean, we thought oh. the other guy was a champ, but that, of course, is the... I do five wounds to him overall. Remember, nice. I only need two to kill him. He yeah. regens four of them. <laughs> what? That's insane. Is uh, it regen it was, six up or five No, up? I think it's five. I think it's five, to be fair. I was going to say, four, six. A really good roll. Uh, yeah. One out of five last time. Four out of five this time. You do the odds. Good lad. Whether, he does not but, want to die. But yeah, uh, he does two wounds to my Phoenix this time and three to my Silverhelms. I actually... Uh, they still count as combat risk, so I actually still win. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's yeah. uh, a bit of that. But yeah, um, we carry on that, and I'm very, very scared. Dragon, it doesn't matter. It's the star dragon. It just... It rolled oh. like six for his impact hits. Just obliterated... <laughs> The storm, was there no I mean. the BSB or the Grey Seer? No, didn't they didn't. Taking it. They no. didn't fancy <laughs> taking it. There was an engineer in there as well, and the other. But yeah, um, and he he, he flees. Yeah. He absolutely flees uh, this time round, uh, and but goes there. And and it's my turn next. I choose not to. I uh, pass the thing. I choose not to go after him and turn to yeah. avenge the terrible, terrible dragon princess. Mm -hmm. that, <laughs> uh, and face the Hellblade because that is an interesting one. That's one I want to see. Yeah. Uh, all these pass their panic. I think uh, we did it as well. Um, the, as you see, the, there's a seven and an eight on the mortars. We didn't know when they, in time, like as the unit goes oh, over them, right. do they panic? So we just gave them the leadership. But it, we just... or the leadership of the fleeing unit. Yeah. So. Because it's mm. at the point it, you take the thing, they're within six at the point of them breaking. Who knows? Sure. Again, it might be wrong. It's largely ineffectual anyway, apart from the clan rats who yeah, definitely yeah. passed. So we were like, it's sure. just it's fine. Let's just use it. Um, so everyone passed for that sake of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, over onto my turn, I get Erdin Ramparts on my dudes uh, for a bit of protection in case he wants to shoot me. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. I'm just facing off against his little shooting thing. Uh, I charge in against the hell pit, the fully, fully uh, healthy. Mm, lost hell pit, all this HP. Yeah. Uh, and my lion chariots uh, come on on the left side, uh, basically to try and mop up. I, I figure the yeah. impact hits alone might kill the rest of the rats themselves. Oh, yeah. Storm vermin. So that's what I'm going for over there. Um, and yeah, you can see the rest of the board. Uh, I misfire with i think this is um oh. wind blast i i, I, <laughs> I don't much want that spell it's just like oh god come on <laughs> uh but i uh yeah and i get the seven so i do a wound to myself okay up there yeah. uh over here we do that we finally do the last wound to the hell bit but wait mm -hmm. <laughs> on the roll of a six you, he comes yeah. back with d3 wounds Oh, amazing. <sighs> and he did it. That's so good. That's um, so good. The only question we had of this, because obviously what happened was, I think, like my sil oh, and we had to do it in order in the end, my silver helms and guys on the top of the chariot, and we'll just say the chariot, technically go before the phoenix. They did the wound. Yeah, was yeah, yeah. It so died. Combat continue. Immediately? When it I takes its so. last wound? I think Both so. The and then you carry then on the combat. So. Immediately comes into combat. Yeah, I think so. Just then, carry on as though it didn't because die. Because their agility, his agility is lower. <laughs> Attacks. Uh, 
Yep, I think so. And kills the phoenix and silver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too right. We were like, yeah, no, I didn't. What? I think that's right. It doesn't say what? anything about changing the sequence of events or I, anything like that. I think I had a chance to kill him with the phoenix after he come back before he went to yeah. me. I think that was because he's yeah. obviously striking last because he's in with the phoenix, but the phoenix didn't do it. And then there you go. Mm. Just. We, again, might be playing that wrong, but that's how we played it, and uh, that was quite funny. We thought, good fun, yeah, yeah. Over here, I kill him, but again, he <laughs> rolls a six. <laughs> Brilliant. So what happened is my my uh, lord, my prince, actually did like four wounds straight off the bat, yeah. which was a mate out like four mm-hmm. attacks. It was amazing. Uh, I think it's like strength six as well, so it's only like wound on four. Just did everything. Then yeah. the dragon comes down, does the last two with all of his attacks. Yeah. Then he rolls a six, and of course, then he goes, boom, does one wound to me, got through, which I was like, oh, thank goodness, um, because of all the re-rolls and stuff. And then my stomps kill him, <laughs> because yeah. that happened afterwards. So I killed him twice in one combat, which was part of the reason well, we were yeah. like, is he sure we continue on? But we didn't know. Um, so well, we I mean, played... another thing is, if the dragon like did five attacks and wounded mm. with four of them, and he only had one, one wound to one start with, do does he die on the first one, then roll a six, then the three other dragon attacks go through? Yeah. Mm. It's I, a bit I vague, not, isn't it? But that's just... What I would say on that one is... the same initiative step, aren't they? Initiative yeah. steps, yeah. So that's mm. the only thing that we could see that we were like, well, he comes back yeah, and attacks yeah. immediately. Think, yeah. yeah. Um, mm. So, yeah. But anyway, killed him twice. So, I've, I've so far, I've <laughs> yeah. killed three help it, And he's only got uh-huh. two. So, uh, where yeah. we go. And one uh, left. Yeah. And one one left to go. Uh, I overrun. <laughs> oh, there you go. That was the stomps killing him. Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, and Very I overrun good. into the fell blade, dude. Uh, Uh-oh. And I've actually and taken... three wounds down. Because stomps happen both ways. Uh, yeah. yeah. Really interesting. Really interesting. But yeah, these help bits, man. Hard to get through. Mm. Uh, over here, onto his turn, and he gets demonic vigor uh, to give extra movement and toughness and stuff here. Yeah. Uh, he actually charges my rubbish chariot, uh, which has moved back because <laughs> it's down chariot. given ground. <laughs> Uh, All right, yeah. And obviously, sort of help it, honestly. But thankfully, they fail. Uh, so it's just oh. mano a mano, help it versus yeah. shit chariot. Come on. <laughs> you have a lot of faith in this chariot, having <laughs> lost your phoenix <laughs> and your silver house. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Well, it's the last man standing. Come on, let's go. Um, yeah. They also face, tend to face the music over here. So it's a yeah. front charge, if nothing else. We'll see if your impact hits can do the job. Uh, shit chariot dies. Uh, there well, you go. I mean, you know, he wasn't exactly feeling highly motivated. No, you calling him what you've been calling him battle, what, was, right? what do you call it? You call this a self fulfilling prophecy, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, and he <laughs> he doesn't even test; he just overruns to go out this way and uh, to safety, or maybe the elven yeah. realms. Maybe that's this way he's mm-hmm. gone for more. Yeah, uh, over here, dark vitality rolls. He, he uh, we go into this combat. He only does one wound to me. <laughs> Uh, I think Oof. it's you could get wards. I'm not even sure you get war saves with the fell blade. I can't remember exactly what it is, uh, but he only does one wound. I feel very. Uh, I think it, it didn't. He didn't hit very well. Is what Star Wars said. Didn't, I think he I didn't, didn't at all. It was, it, he's got four attacks for sure. Yeah, all yeah. of them doing D three wounds, and I think they're at least AP ten. So there's, yeah. there's at least that. If not, mm. you can't take regen mm. or something like that. As well. He only he only rolled three out of four, did a wound because mm. it's strength ten or whatever, and then and then rolled one on his d three. So it was like it's yeah. just even the one could have done like a decent amount. But yeah, did yeah. one. Yeah. I do one back to him as well. In uh, really think uh, quite a bad showing from both of our parts. Really, um, yeah. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> um, thankfully, the stomp and the extra attacks uh, happen, and I, so I end up doing five to his one. Um, winning by lots and lots and lots, and he runs. Oh, so how do you actually join the fell blade guy with that unit then? Oh, right. Okay, oh, yeah, he might so... be better off on his own. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. maybe. Or then I stomp him then instead. Yeah, and he's true. only got three mm-hmm. three wins. So, but yeah, anyway, mm-hmm. um, r- whatever they die, run off the board, yeah. and I turn around uh, onto my turn. Line chariots go in. Come on, mm-hmm. so, the, the thunder of chariots. I get 
travel mystic pathway which i haven't been able to get off yet um and mm. go right up to these guys and say you're not running away anymore my friends no yeah. uh, i also get other ramparts and then shoot them to death <laughs> yeah i think with i think this is showing with wind blast as well it's just like just oh, yeah. well, again uh, over here and there is death Death, 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 death. I kill, yeah. I think I want to say eight um, with all the impact hits and stuff. But I don't kill the whole unit um, no. uh, off. Uh, however, uh, with everything that happens, obviously there's no attacks back. Um, and there might be some from the bell, but that only does one to my uh, chariot. And we continue on. Uh, he flees, or falls back in good order. Yeah. I then pursue with both, go into the clan rat's side, go into the storm vermin. Not looking good for the rats. Yeah. Apart from this guy who's uh, keeping pretty <laughs> He's up, safe. He's got, going for a puddle. Yeah. yeah. And these guys who are hiding like the good rats that they are. Too right. Yeah. Um, over here gets a few more spells off, uh, mainly the toughness one, uh, but also some extra uh, attacks and strength. Uh, but mm -hmm. only does two wounds to me. Uh, my, I do get impact hits on the fullback in good order. So I, uh, impact goes, I kill all the unit. With impact, yeah. I kill his engineer with my attacks. Uh, I, I do apparently one wound to the bell as well. I think that was one of the lines. Um, and yeah, we he flees this time. Uh, I run, catch him. Game over, pretty much. Right uh, there yeah. and there, we we call it quits. Uh, wow. To what a fun what a, game! What a, yeah, it was. That was really fun. A lot going on there. Yeah, yeah. as right. you can see, sponsored by Pepsi. Um, so. Well. <laughs> Other go Pepsis we... are available. <laughs> Other Pepsis are available. <laughs> um, we go on to the score, and it is a uh, crushing victory, score-wise. Uh, yeah. For the elves... It's but funny, maybe... really, because you, you got the win there, but a lot of the fun stories came out of the Skaven, like the hell yeah, bits totally. or, or the, the negativity of the Dragon Prince. It's very Skaven, dying. isn't it? To lose Absolutely. valiantly Spectacularly. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, really, but, cool. Um, really cool yeah so uh yeah no really good really good, good fun battle good start for the uh, well it really it comes down to the dragon though and this is what we were sort of, of saying did. and yeah. i got a lot of these battles and stuff have come down to the big pieces that are quite obviously the good mm. pieces so i think what yeah. um what we might try and do now is look at the other stuff we've we've had this is our 10th battle um yeah, yeah. Uh, in total where we've we've tested out our theories and like the wood elves shooting like the the star dragon um things and uh, so i think what we'll, we'll do is look a little bit more fluffy now and get some uh just range of units in now now that we've tried some of the hard stuff um but yeah. a few more battles to go that we've got in the back to, yeah, yeah. To, to do like this so um we'll have a mix of everything um and like we said we, we are thinking about some campaign plans uh and some other videos yeah. and things like that so to address because yeah, what we've seen in the battles is, is quite a lot of story moments isn't it so yes yeah, so we want to we that's what we want to focus on i think that's the things we've enjoyed mm. the most is these the like the hell pit dudes coming back and, and all sorts of things yeah. like that so uh that's what we're going to look at so if that uh as well as the regular battle reports as well and maybe a few tournaments uh throughout the year as well so if all that stuff interests you Check us out. Like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and of course the Patreon, uh, which mm. you've got again tonight, haven't you? Against all the I patrons. do, yes. Uh, tonight as we're recording, out. but it'll be in the past, yeah. It happened it'll have been Monday. four days ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully, hope, yeah, hopefully I've stomped them to dust. No, no, that's well, not right for our Patreon. It, I'm sure he'll stomp me to dust. Yeah, yes. so, um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've currently already set up some games against Patreon in, in all formats as well, Night Phage and uh, Old yeah. World. So if, if that's something you want to do and want to uh, get, get your, your own battle on this channel uh, through that, then do get in touch with us. Uh, obviously, the Patreon mm. uh, link is in the description. Uh, and of course, yeah. use Warhol for all your practice needs um, and playing people in different countries. Yeah, sounds good. I'm looking forward to this game and uh, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to the comments. Keep keeping coming in. Yes, very much so. I, I mean, on the rules, we we really enjoy the discussions as well that we're having with people on the rules and stuff. Um, obviously, it's so far it's been okay, but keep it civil, please. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, and that, that's a warning to myself as well, right? Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, it's really interesting. There are there are. I think the way it's going, old world and games workshop are 
clearing up some of the rules, but there are some obvious ones that we still uh, would like as much input on as possible. So give us that. Yeah. Um, and, you know, sometimes the more we're playing as well, the more we're uh, being a bit, well, let's move on and just get the yeah, games yeah. going. Yeah, come to a than... conclusion that works for everyone. Yeah, yeah exactly. so uh, that yeah. is kind of our mantra. So if you see something wrong, by all means, put it in the comments, but don't take it personally. Um, if, so, if we've just done that because that was the sensible option at the time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, let us know what you're doing. Uh, let us know what your thoughts are on the uh, the big OP units, so to speak, and and what your idea of fluff units are and things like that. So we're very interested to hear as well. To right, yeah, cool. Look forward to the next one. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, guys, uh, stay safe. Check us out on all these formats, and of course, see you later.